Hey Cecil, um, I'm in bed. It is about 3.30 in the morning. But I'm going to show you how to make that lovely little shadow on the text in the 3D. Alright, first of all, I like to put my render output uh, on 16.9 because um, I like a widescreen. So I go to render settings, okay, and then I go to output. And I'll put the film aspect ratio on 16.9 HD. Okay, so now you see I have a wide screen. Right. Okay, now I go to my light section and I'll click on the background. Okay, so I want to make a background. So I make a new material and I double click the material and then I'll click on color and I'll go to this picture I downloaded before it's a road in the States and I like it very much it's like a desert road we're going to use that one as a background okay so I'll put that into my material and I don't put any reflection I just put it as it is just like a material okay now I'll drag and drop the material onto the background and as you can see now, I have this beautiful picture in my screen. Right. On that screen, uh, we want to put a text object in 3D. So now I go to MoGraph here on top. And I'll click on Text Object. There you go. There I got my text. Um, let's, for instance, uh, make it... Um, well, sizzle, that would be nice. There you go, sizzle. Sizzle, now we have to move about around a bit, a bit so it appears to be on the road. So first of all, I'm going to scale tool, and I'm going to scale sizzle a bit to make it a little bit smaller, like this. Then I go to my rotate tool over here, and I'll just turn it around in the direction of the road, more or less. Then I go back to my Move tool. And I'll put this down like this. Like it's on the road a bit more back, maybe, like this. Okay. So it almost appears to be uh, on the road. But if you render it now, you just don't see anything. You just see Sizzle, and that's it, really. Okay, to make that lovely reflection like it's in the picture, what you do now, you go to um, your uh, cube object, and then you'll just select plane. Okay? So now I've got a plane here, and what I'll do is, first of all, I'm going to make the plane bigger. Okay? So here you got these little... Uh, uh, orange squares and I just stretch it like this so it's right beneath sizzle okay well this is probably big enough if you want you can make it bigger or smaller but I just put it like this and it's underneath sizzle now I have to put it down because sizzle is halfway through it so I just put the plane just beneath the lower text like this yeah, uh, a bit more like this. Okay, now I go right click the plane and I go to Cinema 4D Tags and I'll go to Composting and I click that one. Right, there you go. And over here, I'll make sure that the Composting background is ticked like this. Right, what you see now is this. And we don't want that. And if you see that the S's are still not very good on the plane, so we have to put the plane a bit more down a little bit, like this. And now you can see it's okay. But it's a gray area. So what we do now is we select the material of the background and we press Control and drag and drop it into the plane like this and release it. So now you render, and there you go, that plane is gone, but there is no shadow. So what we're going to do, we go to the render settings, and go to render settings over here, click it, and then we go to effect, click the effect, 
and we add a ambient occlusion over here, right? And over here at maximum ray length, we put like about, for instance, 150 and contrast, well, let's say about 40%, 40. Okay, and what you see now, if you render, you see this. There you go. And now it's like Sissel is on the road, you see, with the shadow. Like if you maybe put the text a bit more up like this and see what happens if you render now. You see, you can see the little shadow on the road. Well, that looks very nice. That's it. it looks actually very good. Okay, let's uh, maybe we can give Sissel a little uh, 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 color. I'll just put the little oops, a little nuki into the Sissel like this, and let's see how it looks like now. Wow, it looks like a brushed metal kind of thing. What I, what I do like, especially on on text, I like the caps. So if I click text, I go to caps, and I put fillet cap over here. And, and also fillet cap. And you see, now you got this kind of text. And it looks pretty amazing. Although I must say with the um, bluish, it's a bit dark. So let me see if I just add a light. Let's see how it looks now. Put the light a bit up like this and maybe a bit more to the right like that. And let's render. Oh, well, that looks very, very nice, I think. And it's, it is just like it's on the road, you know? That, that, that feels very, very good. So, and maybe if you put Sissel a bit more up, like this, maybe you can see more like a shadow effect. You see, like it's, it's like um, um, flying across the road like this, you know? That, that, that looks very nice indeed. What I, I also like, actually, is when you put the text object and maybe you put it a bit more down, like it's sinking into the plane, you see? The S's and the L and everything is disappearing like this. And then you go to uh, coordinates of the text object and you go to the P over here and you can make it swivel like this or whatever you like but a bit more like that and it's then you render it looks it looks like it's coming out of the road like it's like uh, stuck in the road you see that looks also very very nice you know you can play around with this shit and it's you, you can do so many nice things really I, I quite like this you know I, I can play with this for for many 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 hours. <laughs> but I like it. you see, like it's if it's like sizzle buried in the road, like this. But well, it also looks pretty pretty slick. So I hope you learned something, and um, I'm sure you're gonna love this. Take care, darling. I'm gonna sleep now. It's almost half past three. And if you have some more questions, just let me know. Bye.